ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ థ్యాంక్ యూ సో మచ్ ఫర్ వాచింగ్ మై వీడియోస్ అండ్ థ్యాంక్ యూ సో మచ్ ఫర్ యువర్ సపోర్ట్ సో యాజ్ యూజువల్ టుడే ఆల్సో ఐ హ్యావ్ బ్రాడ్ సమ్ ఆఫ్ ద వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఫర్ యూ లెట్ అస్ సాల్వ్ దోస్ క్వశ్చన్స్ వన్ బై వన్ దీస్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఆర్ సెలెక్టెడ్ ఫ్రమ్ ప్రీవియస్ పేపర్స్ సో దీస్ ఆర్ ఆర్ కామన్ క్వశ్చన్ ఫర్ ఆల్మోస్ట్ ఎవ్రీ కాంపిటేటివ్ ఎగ్జామ్ ఓకే సో లెట్ అస్ గో టు ద ఫస్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ సో హియర్ ఈస్ యువర్ ఫస్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ లెట్ అస్ రీడ్ ద క్వశ్చన్ ద రేషియో ఆఫ్ విమల్ రాజన్ అండ్ గోపాల్ ఈస్ వన్ ఈస్ టు టూ ఈస్ టు త్రీ and the sum of their ages is 90 years what is the age of vimal and rajan at present so this this question is about the relationship the age problem a problem based on age here three people let us write those information what is given in the question vimal rajan and gobal their ages are in what ratio their ages are in 1 is to 2 is to 3 ratio and one more information is given in the question the total age the sum of the age is 90 so let us take that also here sum is equal to 90 that is a total age whenever we have a ratio like this and when we have the total sum then it is easy for us to find the correct answer and mark the correct option so simple step what we have to do for this type of questions very easy very easy method first assign 1 2 3 whatever ratio is given in the question paper whatever ratio is given in the question paper take it as in terms of x 1x 2x and 3x here the ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 3 so that is why we are taking it as 1x 2x and 3x so all these calculations you can do mentally 1x 2x and 3x so we know total how many x 1 2 and 3 6x but in the question it is also given that the total age the sum of the age is 90 so 6x will be equal to 90 so the mental calculations you can directly do here 6x is equal to 90 so x will be equal to 15 so we have 1x plus 2x plus 3x 6x will be equal to the total sum 90 you can cut this 6 and 90 15 times you got x is equal to 15 once you got x is equal to 15 then put that x here 15 so this x vimal will be of 15 year age or 2x 2x will be 30 and g is 3x 3x will be 45 so what we need to find out in this question we need to find out the age of vimal and rajan vimal and rajan so vimal and rajan 15 plus 30 the answer is 45 so from the given options a b c d you can mark the correct option is equal to 45 so what i actually want to tell you all these calculations we have explained on board but when you do it practically in your competitive exams you need not to write all these things you need not to write all these things what is the shortcut method here 1 is to 2 is to 3 that is the ratio given 1 is to 2 is to 3 so total ratio is how much 6 6x will be equal to the total sum 90 so you can write this step directly 6x is equal to 90 so 6x is equal to 90 means x is equal to 15 that mental calculation you can do directly and assign that value of x 15 in all these steps here 15 here 2x 30 here 3x 45 then accordingly what is asked in the question you can find out here this particular question the age of vimal and rajan is asked so vimal and rajan 15 plus 30 equal to 45 so from the given options you can mark the correct answer so this way if you practice more and more questions questions based on ages will be very easy and these type of questions are very common in almost every competitive exam numerical arithmetic part the numerical ability call it quantitative aptitude okay kindly note it and then we will go to the next question the next question is here on your board what's the question the present ages of a b and c are in the ratio 2 is to 3 is to 5 six years after the sum of their ages will be 68 find the percent age of b so three people a b c their ratio is 2 is to 3 is to 5 so whatever is given in the question let us write that a is to b is to c 2 is to what is the, what is given in the question 2 is to 3 is to 5 2 is to 3 is to 5 so our first idea is let it be 2x 
let it be 3x let it be 5x then what is given in the question six years after after six year their total age will be 68 after six years this person will become 2x plus 6 this will become 3x plus 6 and this will become 5x plus 6 so 2x plus 6 3x plus 6 5x plus 6 total will be 68 that means 2x plus 3x 5x 5x plus 5x 10x plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 18 will be equal to 68 so you can write 10x will be 68 minus 18 which is equal to 50 10x will be 50 so x will be equal to what cut this 10 and this 50 5 times x is equal to 5 all these type of questions what actually we need to find out we need to find out the value of x once you get the value of x substitute it here and find the value the age of the particular person so here we got x is equal to 5 once you got x is equal to 5 put it here this will become 2x 2x will be equal to how much 10 3x 3x will be equal to how much 15 5x 5x will be equal to how much 25 because x is equal to 5 so 2x 3x and 5x what we need to find out we need to find out the age of b in this particular question so age of b 3x x is equal to 5 so 5 into 3 15 so we got age of b is equal to 3x 3 into 5 15 so from the given options a b c d you can mark which is the correct answer kindly not it okay so here is your next question the age of father is three times the sum of the ages of two sons five years hence his age will be double the age of the two sons what is the present age of father so this type of questions again age of two sons let us take age of two sons equal to x age of two sons equal to x so what will be the age of father present age of father present age of father will be equal to 3x why because it is given in the question father's age is three times the sum of the ages of two sons now after five years five years hence this type of words are very very important five year later five year hence that means we have to add five five years ago before five years means we have to subtract so five years hence means after five years the age of father will be double the age of the two sons so after five years this will become how much after five years after five years each son there are two sons each son will have five year extra first son five year x will be increasing and for second son also five year will be increasing so total how much five plus five ten years will be increasing so after five years ages of two son ages of two sons will be x plus ten x is the sum of the present age of two sons x is the sum of present age of two sons so after five years both son will have five years extra five years extra total five plus five ten years will be increasing but for father after five years it will be three x plus five present age of father is three x so after five years what will be father's age father's age will be three x plus five now what is the condition given after five years father's age will be double the ages of the two sons so this value 3x plus 5 will be equal to double the ages of this that is 2 times of x plus 10 if you can make this equation that's it from this equation you can solve it and find the correct answer so let us solve it and find out 3x plus 5 3x plus 5 is equal to 2 into x 2x 2 into 10 20 i can cut this 2x here i can cut this 3x here 2x 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 both the side cancel remaining will be 1x 
here we have 5 here we have 20 i can cancel 5 here i can cancel 5 from here balance will be 15 so i got the value of x x is equal to 15 once i get the value of x put it here what we need to find out in this question age of father so put the value of x here to get the value the, to get the correct answer so 3x put x is equal to 15 so 3x will be 3 into 15 3 into 15 equal to 45 so we got this answer is equal to 45 so accordingly you can mark the correct option so all these explanations are just to build the concept concept building exercise cbe once you practice this type of questions your speed will definitely increase okay then all these calculations you can make it in shortcuts and go to the direct answer so practice with more and more questions and increase your speed okay kindly note it then we'll go to the next question so the next question is suresh earned rupees 600 in 15 days his average income for the first five days was rupees 60 what was his average income for the remaining days so in 15 days he earned 600 rupees his average income for the first five days was 60 so what was his average income for the remaining days so let us write the information given in the question for 15 days for 15 days the total earning is rupees 600 for 15 days the total earning is 600 his average income for the first five days is 60 for first five days average equal to 60 for five days that means total in five days is equal to 5 into 60 300 rupees in the first five days he made 300 rupees in 15 days he made 600 rupees so out of that 600 first five days he made 300 rupees that means what the remaining 10 days he made 300 rupees so what will be his average for the remaining 10 days so average for remaining days average for remaining days will be he has made 300 for first five days remaining will be 300 600 minus 300 300 and out of 15 he has taken five days here remaining will be 10 days so this will become 0 0 cut 30 so 30 is the average for the remaining days understand these concepts very clearly these are the questions based on averages in 15 days a person makes 600 rupees and his average for first five days is 60 means first five days he made a average of 50 60 that means first five days he made a total 300 rupees 300 divided by 5 equal to 60 if average is 60 average multiplied by total number of days we will get total money so 60 multiplied by 5 we got 300 so 300 rupees he made in the first five days out of 15 days so remaining 10 days he made only 300 rupees so what will be the average 300 divided by 10 equal to 30 so from the given options we mark 30 as the correct option please note it very important question based on average okay so thank you once again for watching my videos and for your support we'll meet with more and more questions in the next video okay take care bye bye